hello there my fellow miners and crafters good times with Skyr here and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of hermits and crafting we're flying right into the heart of the jungle where we have built our brand new wizard village here looking absolutely wonderful with our gigantic magical crystal in the center and our little residential houses along the sides here with some incredible details what i love about these little houses is there's very few plank blocks in it it's all stripped logs in such fun and unique ways along with giant mushrooms mini mushrooms and even a little bit of bamboo on the top of the roofs there and i'm absolutely loving it in today's episode we're building the occupational houses and it's gonna be amazing but before we do that i've heard zombie cleo updated the head hunt bounty board and i want to see if there is anything to be had and it looks like a cup fan is here too so we got the dub's head Hi, hi, Cub. <laughs> it's an awfully big uh, sword you out there. Hi, smiley face. <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't. I'm gonna eat the wizard fruit. No, that's a chest, not a wizard fruit. No, no, see? Don't make me do it. Okay, Cub, Cub, you, you put that bow down. Nope, wizard fruit. Nope, taking it. <laughs> you can't touch a wizard. I'm agile. I'm smooth. I'm sliding through the world with my magic carpet. No, oh, okay, he got me. Oh, that's it. That's it. We're doing this not wizard style. We're doing this Top Gun style. That's right. With Tom Cruise behind our back. Fox one. <laughs> oh, well, we hit him. Okay, that was a bit of a surprise. Can we just... Oh, 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 oh. Wasn't expecting that. I don't usually get kills in PvP. Oh, <laughs> let's make sure we get all the stuff up. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I'm not used to that. Okay, that was a bit of a shock. GG, <laughs> GG. The wizard fruit. The wizard fruit is on our side. That's how we won this engagement. Wow. Getting Cub's stuff together here. We're going to throw him an extra shulker box just for the GGs. But he should have been so reckless with his uh, sword because, well, he's worth 100 points on the bounty board. Today is a day that will be remembered as the first day Scar ever got a PvP kill. <laughs> that must have been a fluke. Cub must have had, like, you know, maybe some sand, like, in his shoe or something like that. You know, he's out in the deserts, right? <laughs> You know, it's coarse and it gets in everything. Um, but yeah, we've got ourselves a PvP kill, putting 100 extra points on the board. And I am super, super excited about that. Just as I was about to leave there with all the commotion, I forgot to check the rest of the bounty board and the scores. And it turns out we can add 200 more points to the board here with a Tango non-PvP head and a stress monster non-PVP head. So that is three additional points. And it is really hard to walk with all these spider heads. Oh my gosh, 2,902 points. False, what have you done? That, oh, 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 we're getting out of here. <laughs> we're going back to the magical cove. He is back for revenge. Welcome back to the magical village here. And I've been doing a little organizing in the chest monster to cut down on the ridiculousness of it because whew, I needed some time to calm down after that engagement with Cub. <laughs> I'm not used to PvP. It got my nerves all fired up. But anyway, we've got a ton of amazing resources in these chests now, all organized for our projects today, which is going to make everything so much easier. By the way, Ocelot Head, a lot more is going to come from this. Green just sent me a message. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go back to the bounty board. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. We'll see what he has to say, but I don't want to go back there. I have bad memories. There he is. <laughs> what is he doing? And why do you not have armor on? Dude, this is a hotbed of danger. <laughs> I was uh, attacked by a cub fan here. What? Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh, we are wanted men. Oh, thank you for telling me. <laughs> Things get a little hairy here. Now what's he doing? <laughs> I'm so confused. He's just like beating on that bed. Hello, hi, stood on the bed. Don't see anything, how dare. <gasps> I cleaned my shoes before I stood on that bed that was pre sole before I stood on it. <laughs> you would do that. I am so confused. <laughs> Unbelievable. My shoes, I'll assure you, are very, very clean and soft. 
They're wizard slippers after all. Come on now. Hello? Oh. Oh! Got him! <laughs> oh, yes. I see now. I am a very slow person. Let's let him burn for a moment. There we go. <laughs> okay. I see what this whole plan has been devised into. Very clever. I'm just a little slow on the uptake. Do your worst, and I'll put my possessions in the chest. I will have my revenge. We'll have your revenge with my sword. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is super clever, by the way. I like it, and I like it a lot. Sir, we did good work. Yes, yes, we did. <laughs> Look at my head over there. It's pretty nice. Let's keep up appearances here. Let's shake on it, as Grian said. Let's be friends. Shaken. <laughs> also, I have no XP, so I'm going to need him to uh, do the paperwork here. <laughs> All right, let's pack up and let's get out of here. That is 300 points on the board. I had to take a hour break. PVP really takes it out of a person. So the best way to fully recover, my friends, is to check the profits at our shop here. So a little clear, beautiful aqua will go a long way in curing my nerves. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. 64 diamonds plus an additional 16. And it looks like we're going to have to restock this place eventually. It is a good thing. I've got a whole, whole, whole lot of shulker shells. And everyone picked out all of the ender chests. <laughs> Did anybody take the barrels or the chests at all? I don't think so. I think they picked out every single one of the... Oh. Oh, that's so sad. That one ender chest is like... Why, why, didn't, why didn't you all choose me? <laughs> My friend, I choose you. Thank you. Before we get out of the shopping district, I have to thank you for all the comments letting me know the missing diamond block was actually... The little marquee here for Operation Aqua Thunder Land Acquisition. <laughs> I looked high and low for that diamond block and it was right under our nose the whole time. I have just become accustomed to coming home after a long day of Minecrafting to find my door gone. I'm used to the nights of shivering in my blankets with the cold drafts of the jungle floating in, feeling the jungle insects sneaking into the door and tickling my feet as I sleep. These are the <laughs> these are the uh, the burdens we bear with a pesky bird that lives next door. Now, we could have a door but the problem was I lost my key to my Kakuma or whatever we call it now. Uh, Kudumda, Kagumdu. I'm very confused. Anyway, it doesn't open anymore. I have broke it. Mumbo, I need a warranty call. So please let Mumbo know that I am in great need of his assistance. <laughs> but I have found this. Dear Scar, have a magical door, vote key. Find a green carpet in your front garden and throw the key on top of it, wait a few seconds, and a magical door vault will open. Never miss having a door ever again. Iskman! <laughs> so apparently, this has been here for like days, and I just come, you know, wandering in mad about my door and never notice it. <laughs> so, we take apparently this magical door vault key, and we throw it over a green carpet? Hmm... So it says a green carpet, but I just had like a little bit of dread creep up the back of my neck. Um, there's like a hundred green carpets out here. So one of these green carpets is it. Because all of our lighting is under these green carpets and uh, gray carpet pieces on the pathway. Oh, this might take a while. <laughs> Hmm, we might have to do this a little bit later. Return the key back to Lair the Snail for safekeeping because we need to jump right into our build today. So the plan with this is to add more verticality to the build. Everything is a little bit flat and on the same plane. So we have the giant crystal and the residential buildings over there. They're all on the same spot. So originally, I wish I would have added a little bit more height throughout the design, but we're going to fix that 
right now. So first thing, we're going to need to move the guillotine to a better spot. And once that's moved, we can put our science headquarters up there. And I have a really fantastic design for that. So we'll just add an additional pathway kind of going up here. Now, this big blank spot down here will become our farms and our pastures for our different animals, which is going to be really neat. And then what is that? <laughs> I don't know why that was like freaked me out. I'm like, what is that yellow thing in the bushes? Anyway, um, in this area over here, we're going to need to do a little bit of zero farming, and that will give us a little bit of room to build in this area. I think I'm going to build a blacksmith right here and have a really fun design for that. And another thing to keep in mind when you're building something like this is visual sight lines. So we talked about adding height and dimension to the build, but sight lines are just as important. So when we walk in here, we're presented opportunities to head up to the science center, head into to the town square where we have our beautiful crystal and if we choose to go this way it'll bring us to this amazing blacksmith so when you're building out these things think about that think about how the eye and how you wander through an area it's uh disney refers to it as like the weenie so it's like dangling like a hot dog in front of a dog as they chase it, that's kind of how they describe it, right? You're trying to lure people around the space by using visual interest points to kind of give them a fun little uh, adventure through the village. And uh, that's kind of how we're designing. So with that, we're going to jump right into super fast build mode and build out this area into something absolutely beautiful. So hit it. super fast build mode and boy was that ever a long time lapse i've actually had to re-render the clip twice because i couldn't speed it up any further these things may be small but they are in a massive amount of detail like look at our little structures here we have our giant observatory over here which like i said at the beginning is our magic and science headquarters with all sorts of beautiful details and our blacksmith over there with an absolutely amazing chimney smokestack design it's being held up by the roof of the other building so it's kind of teetering and breaking apart and there are so many cats around here. I guess it's all the green grass because I am getting quite a few wandering traders in the area also. But as I was saying, I love the fact that it's being held up by the other building. <laughs> it's teetering over and there's just so much fun little bits of detail. Now, with the overall design of each building, I want them to feel as if they have come from the same location, but all have their own fun and unique design. So we have the observatory. We have the snail. We have our buildings over here with mushrooms growing out of them. This with its teetering smokestack, which I plan to add so much more detail here. But uh, yeah, we need to take a little break and uh, take this head and another one to the shopping district because we got two more PVP heads. I have not seen the tally yet, but I know for sure 
We are getting close to being first. Let's see, Tango non-PVP. Um, Hypno, Hypno, there we go. <laughs> Perfect, let's get... <laughs> what the heck? Okay, okay, that caught me off guard. That is really funny. You got Bounty Box, Bounty Box, Bounty Box. Bounty box. <laughs> Canadians only. You know the Mounties, they ride around on horses, they got the red suits on. Hilarious. I love that. Whoever did that, Cleo, genius. Comedic genius. I love it. Anyway, and that is 400 points to team. I don't know. Do we not have a team name? In the comments, make us a team name for Team Green and Scar. We need a team name. This is crazy. I have that head, by the way, in my non-PVP stash of heads. And I think I've got beef and I've got, oh no, ZF is a PVP. See, that one I don't have because I didn't PVP him, but I got beef in my box. This is hilarious. False is double point hermit today and has a 250 point bounty. That is a lot of points, but nobody in their right mind would go after a false. That is a fool's errand. But as you guys can see, we've got all four of these lined up. We've got Beef, we have Tango, Hypno, and of course, Iskull. And look at these points. Look at the points there, 700 in the bag. And I believe that should put us in first. Wait. Oh, no. See, this is why we need a team name. Sc sc score and, and Groon? <laughs> But anyway, we're going to be in first place by tomorrow, which is going to be amazing. Is it just me or is this boat growing? When I was here like two hours ago, this boat was half or a quarter the size. I think it is slowly growing here. <laughs> the more diamonds you put in, the bigger it gets. As much as I love playing the head games, it's time to get back to work here. So where we left off, of course, was we finished our first two occupational buildings and they are the bee's knees. So it's time to add a couple more knees to our bees. So I want to build something for our livestock and the fisherman villager. So with that, I'm thinking about building some kind of barn over here, but I want to put some kind of fun, unique spin on it. So I'm thinking about how that's going to look and we might need maybe one or two additional occupational buildings. So yeah, in the comments, let me know if you have any ideas for any specific villagers and in these areas that are full of green grass. This of course is where I want to put our farms and our livestock and things like that. So hopefully we can get to that so let's get back to work here and see about building a barn but with a unique take hmm spend quite a bit of time working on our barn design only to result in failure <laughs> but that's okay i tore the entire thing out because i am a perfectionist to a fault <laughs> so i don't want anything that's not unique and different so i'm still working out some designs and in the meantime i have built out a bit of a pathway here up into the observatory now this area and the whole village to that matter are a little bit light on the human element of design details and we're going to be getting to those very very soon so don't worry about that and i've started working on the design for our blacksmith now this one isn't connected to the pathway yet because i wanted to kind of rope around the back and then up into the barn and then back up to here so it kind of has like a fun little pathway that you can follow um so yeah i'm happy with the pathways but now i want to go do something else something unexpected and that is our villager so what i want to do is put ocelot heads on them so if we say we can trap this oh gosh he just went right into the corner <laughs> that couldn't have uh, been better timed all right we're gonna put this right there come on come on click there we go and we're going to put a ocelot head inside a lever and bam we've got ourselves an ocelot villager look at him <laughs> oh, you are just so beautiful. <laughs> oh, you can see the rim of his hat around his eyes. Oh, I love it. So I want the villagers in the village to be ocelots. And maybe we'll throw in a couple other animals too, but mostly just misfit cats. Because when we started this out, we wanted a land of misfit magical creatures. Be free, my friends, be free. There are so many delicious hamburgers in here. Meow. Meow. Mew. That is both adorable 
and terrifying. <laughs> so that is all of the Ocelot heads that I have at this point, but uh, I am loving it. So what I want to start doing is getting their trade set up. So what I've been told is if you trade with a villager that's positioned to a workstation, even when you break that workstation, it locks their trades for when that workstation is put back down. If that's true, I'm going to start working out their trades. And uh, I know I don't have a head for you, good sir. And you have a beautiful belt buckle. And I appreciate that. Maybe a bird head, maybe a panda head. Oh, panda heads for these guys would be amazing. <laughs> so we're going to have to do some panda slaying, which is going to be quite fun. But anyway, I'm loving these little fellas here. Get the trades all locked in. And Meow. it is time to do the well overdue magical door vault search. It's time to find that. But Impulse stopped by here and left this book here. So please accept these free samples courtesy of Impulse's Emerald and Totem Shop. If you enjoy the products, please consider stopping by the shop and making a purchase. All products are priced very reasonably. Well, that's very good to know, Impulse. And what did you drop here? Oh, a free totem and some emeralds. That'll be perfect for our villagers. But <laughs> hey, how did you get out? <laughs> how did you get out, sir? I, I don't trust you out here on your own. It is a dangerous place for hamburgers like you. This might take a while. <gasps> Something's happening. <laughs> Something happened there. Okay, there's like a chest right here. Oh, and there's the key. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh my gosh, there is literally a vault door. We almost covered it up. <laughs> this there's there's three doors in here and a zombie. Is this a troll? <laughs> is this a troll? <laughs> there's literally three doors and a zombie. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh no. Okay, either this is an elaborate troll or a zombie spawned in here and took out the doors because I presume there was more than three doors in here. Hello. <laughs> knock, knock. How are you? Oh, see, he's already breaking it. Let me know in the comments. Elaborate troll <laughs> or an unfortunate accident. I'd like to use this door for something. The design is amazing. So with that, when you take the key out, it closes back up. Maybe this is where we could store our magical wizard fruit and crystals or something like that. Maybe build like a little vault door right here, which could be absolutely amazing. So yeah, unfortunately we didn't get many doors. <laughs> I think we got a grand total of three, that is. Um, but it's better than not having a door at all. But there we go, my friends. This is the end of the video. I have been working on these builds for three plus days. They're small, but they are so immersive and detailed that they took so very long to make and come up with. And I really hope they inspired you for your own kind of magical, awkward, and very peculiar wizard village. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And if you played the videos or have the rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become scarred for life.